Hey guys, welcome back to Next Lesson Music. It's Josephy. And it's August. And today we're going to be talking about maintaining your guitar. Maybe you've been playing a set and your guitar is not looking too nice. Or maybe you just yeah. finished one and it still doesn't look too nice. <laughs> <laughs> But, but hopefully, in this video, we're not really talking about a deep cleaning, right? That's a different thing. You yeah, just, this is general maintenance. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, when you don't want to take off the strings. Maybe you've already, the set of strings you have is fairly new, but your guitar is not looking the best, and it can look a little better. So this is what this video is about. Mm -hmm. But before we get into it, Make sure you guys hit that bell for notifications, subscribe, hit the like button, and check out all of our links down in the description below. Leave a comment down below as well. Tell us what, what kind of video you want to see next. Without further ado, let's clean my nasty guitar. Yes. <laughs> so as you can see, the current state of this guitar, no, it's, it's not too bad. Right, it's not bad. But it could be better, yeah. Most of the nastiness is right here. I mean... Rightfully so, right? Because it's kind of hard to get in here without the necessary tools. I mean, you could just get a paper towel <laughs> and kind of just very round note, run down, yeah. <laughs> finagle your way in there, yeah. right? But I mean, come on, you invested the money into a nice instrument right here. Yes, you might as well make the effort, get some microfiber That's cloths, nice. maybe even some brushes. These are really helpful. These are really these are a lot more helpful than you think. You. It, the whole point is you got you want to invest in the upkeep, the maintenance, and taking care of your instrument, especially if it's right up there in the in the four figures, you know. So, <laughs> so sure. yeah, we're not all that rich, anyways. But yeah, uh, I would recommend okay. get these things. Uh, let me see the brand real quick. Music Nomad. I forgot. I was just making sure. Music Nomad. Music these Nomad. brushes they both come in the same bundle. Uh, yes, now they, they, they cost a pretty penny. But they're worth it, man. Uh, especially getting into these areas, and then underneath the strings, right behind the the, the nut, is really really useful to use these, right? And then this is a staple. If you clean your guitars, if you, you gotta know use some sort of guitar what cleaner. guitar uh, guitar cleaning is about, you probably already own 65. You know, you, you, when you're gigging, you maybe don't have access to 65. Maybe you only have the rag. Then just use the rag. At least use the rag. It but, works. Let's get into this. So what are we gonna start off doing? I say we go top to bottom. All right, so from the top uh, You could uh, well, I would recommend uh, clean this thing uh, Use this to clean the entire guitar everything that you can clean use it We're talking about a very rundown thing. We're not removing any strings or anything like that So what I'm gonna do, let's say in this gig. I brought my 65. Just give it a few sprays That's that don't inhale it. No, if you ask me, that was a little too much, but hey. Uh, there, I dropped off the rest. <laughs> and then, just quickly, just... Doesn't have to be anything too serious. If you're just doing general maintenance, if you untune your guitar in this process, you guys have a tuner, or if you're good enough, use your ear. Yes. If your ear is good enough, I guess I should say. What is it? You if want you're to good enough. carry on with that? Yeah. So. yeah. And while you Nothing do that, crazy. I'm gonna explain this thing. So this, uh, although I call it horse hair, August has clarified this is not horse hair, this is camel hair, it right? camel hair. And it's really soft. If you put it to your skin, it's like really nice. It feels nice. It's the closest thing us guys will have to a makeup brush. But, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Pretty uh, accurate, yeah. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is, you know, using this, you can get into you know, finally, you can get into those hard to reach areas and then just brush it out. You know, and although you may not see all the dust that's coming out, but trust me, it does make a difference. And if you think that's not working, that's why you have this thinner one. So when he's done, he'll probably just go use this, you know, really quickly, go in there really close. And if you want, it. you can explain that one. And this isn't a two person job, you're probably definitely doing this by your, on your own, but it, it definitely makes it faster but not necessary. So while he's going over there, I'm just using the camel hair. We're gonna go straight in here. Boom. Oh, we really should have gotten a before and after because that is <laughs> night and day. For this, 
for this part, it actually, in my case, it fits in this, uh, the space between the, what are they called? The pickups. The pickups, yes. Nice one. I, I lost the word, I lost <laughs> the word. In my case, it fits here, so hey, that's perfect for me. But in this case, my, this thing does not fit through there. Which is what this is but for. But that is what that one is for. So, wow. Ooh, like it was born Look for at it. that. This is like a whole commercial for these brushes. Like We're it not was, sponsored in any way. Like it was form. born for it. Yes. There you go. Beautiful. And then you could use it for over here as well. Especially in this area right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. All right, the last part would probably be the neck itself. Uh, that's pretty simple. I mean, do, do you ever put? No, I don't use that. This? What I end up doing, I know this side was the wet side that I use. Use your thing, especially for someone like me. We we I suffer from sweaty hands, so my guitar <laughs> quickly gets dirty. So I'm constantly doing this. You know, get your your Could dry side. Get the dry side of your rag and then just wipe it down. Just Trust wipe me, it down. It makes a difference. If you're using a brand of strings that's coated, such as Elixir, it may not be as bad. But especially on those string sets that don't have rust proofing or any type of uh, layer around it, you wanna you, wipe you, off the sweat. You want to wipe off the sweat, otherwise you're rusting out your strings faster than they should be rusting out. So yeah, just wiping it down. If you, you can go into the little crevices in there using your finger and then, you know, taking out the gunk from underneath the pickups, but that's probably a bit more easy when the strings are off, which we're not doing in this video. Most right? probably. I mean, you could try and use this. I think it that's what it's intended for. That is probably what it's most intended for, but well, you, you won't that. be able to reach all the way over there but unless you want to like pop your strings. Damn. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it actually picked up a lot. <laughs> I'm telling you. You can't really see it. So, I haven't used that, so you can't blame me, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, see, my guitar wasn't that nasty, but it, was, it does it make a difference. Yeah. Like, to the naked eye over here, you see a huge difference. And if you want to get even more specific, this other one that also comes with the, the Music Nomad Yeah, they come bundle, with the same bundle. It does have this part right here, so you could go in deeper i guess it's still kind of hard to go over there but if you want to get a little more deeper clean in your frets you could do that bring it onto the other side as well for for simplicity we're not going to be doing that wow yeah it's getting a <laughs> that is that's awful so you're probably going to want to do a deep a very deep clean when you switch your strings, this is an area that's way easier. And make sure once you use this that, was dark, yeah. <laughs> and now it's pretty, <laughs> it's light. Make sure when you use that, it is gonna disrupt the dirt that's underneath this. Make sure to just blow it out with this, and then you should be good to go. Uh, but this, like I was saying, this is an easier process when your strings are off, you know, because then you can really uh, you put in your your hand work. Uh, you can use your force, not force, but you can really take off the dirt. You can go in with lemon oil, in this case on rosewood, and then really soften the dirt and take it out. But these tools come in really handy if you're trying to avoid taking off your strings to clean your guitar, especially in this area right here. Uh, that is a really difficult area. I've tried doing it with a cloth. You never get it 100%. Never it's get really all really hard, but this gets you a step further and it allows you to do that. Uh, another thing to mention, we're not gonna do in this video, you probably wanna go in and tighten your screws. A lot of these screws it loosen never up. Uh, especially the input jack, or probably. output, my bad. It's not input. Uh, you probably wanna <laughs> tighten that up. A quick tip, you know, if you have a T-tool, if you skate, it's the same size. So you can use that uh, to screw that in. Regular screwdriver, just make sure you're not damaging the screws. Make sure you're you screwing correctly. Them. You don't want to strip them. This is wood at the end of the day. So if you go in too tight, or if you're playing around with the, the, the screw, you will damage it, and it's going to be harder to take it out. So you don't want to do that. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, so this is just general general cleaning you say in between a gig or something like that i usually do stuff like this you know this uh this stand comes in really handy it's foldable and you can easily put it in your gig bag or in your, your case and take is it, it also wherever you go gonna... no this is the diodario if i'm not oh, okay. if i'm not mistaken I mean, the... doesn't have to be something crazy i mean it's it's like a trifold stand there's like kind of a a cubish one also. Yeah. I, I think that one's music nomad, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like blue. 
It doesn't have to be something crazy. If you want to go everything by the same brand, a hey, Music Nomad has a whole suite of tools. I think the Adario as well. The Adario, this is the Adario. Uh, the cleaner is Dunlop. Uh, I thought it was the same thing, but no. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this is general cleaning in between gigs. Just and it to doesn't make the take guitar look a little nicer. And it doesn't take long. Like, Already, we, we were explaining it, you know, blow by blow. So. It took us a little longer and it definitely can be done with just one person in a minute, two minutes tops, look general cleaning. Yeah. It was a night and day difference, especially this part right here. This part, it, like if you're going to be recorded, <laughs> they're going to notice this more than anything, especially yeah. if you have a, a white a pick guard. Yeah. I'm forgetting all yeah, these yeah, yeah. A white pick guard, but this part is you generally what's seen. They're focusing over here, but this part is usually very loud in terms of colors. Yeah. So yeah, general cleaning tips. Do check out these brushes. They're really helpful when we're talking about avoiding taking your strings off and just cleaning, getting into those crevices. Really difficult to do just with a cloth. So yeah, that's why I made fun of August for getting these. He first got these. I ended up buying my own set because, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> impossible on my Telecaster, even with that one, especially because on my guitar, I have a metal piece, so that thing is a dust magnet. It just <laughs> cleans onto it, and it's really difficult to get under there and clean it. So that makes it easier, but hopefully you learned uh, something new from this video, how to quickly clean your guitar. It's been Joe Severe. And it's been August. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.